are live, y'all. Um, we'll see how this goes uh, with technology, if it's on our side or not on our side. But y'all, I'm Chef Amy Sins, and today I am going to give you a little quick behind the scenes uh, studio tour, if you will. Uh, my friend here, uh, Philip Diaz, he has been making all kinds of crazy art that has been going on our house floats here in the city. And I wanted to give you a little tour, show you around, and just kind of show y'all that here in New Orleans, we're not having Mardi Gras the same way that we always have Mardi Gras, but you cannot take the Mardi Gras out of New Orleanians. Carnival season is gonna be exactly what that is, a big carnival. It's just gonna be a little bit different. So I wanna go ahead and introduce you to Philip, who is right here behind me. Hello. And I'm gonna turn the screen around so that y'all can see him because we're social distancing here. Yeah, <laughs> but what are you working on right now? Uh, right now we have the Xanadu house, which is gonna be 3470 Laurel Street. And the Xanadu house is such a beautiful structure that we don't wanna put any holes in it. So we try to figure out a way to uh, attach the things and uh, not screw into the building itself. So to do that, we're, we're building a sort of a scaffolding in front of the house and then attaching everything to that. So we came up with this modular system using these clamps. We got pin spots, we got disco balls, we got LEDs. It's going to be totally over the top. What has it been like to get these phone calls from people who say, I have a vision, How can you make it happen? <laughs> What's it been like? It's been a relief, honestly, because uh, this past year's been tough. This past year's been very tough. It's been slow. Um, I've had consistent work, but not. I've, I haven't been busy at any point. This is the first time, actually, since I moved here two years ago, where I feel like I've had a full schedule. And so it's really been a blessing. Um, and it's unfortunate that, you know, the, the, the bigger studios aren't able to do their work, but, you know, I have tons of friends that are, that are independent artists and they're all just going off like gangbusters right now. So it's been, it's been good. So do you see this kind of uh, decorate your house for Mardi Gras thing? Do you think this is going to be this big every year going forward? Um, this big, I think it's going to grow consistently. I don't think it's going to be this explosion like it was this year. And also um, this start, this movement kind of started late in the game. Um, now I have people, people are already lining up for next year. So I think the work is going to be more consistent throughout the year rather than all at once like it has been. So I think it's going to, it's going to continue to grow, but it's not going to be uh, exploding. Well, show us a little bit of what you have sure. in the studio. Yeah, we've got a few jobs that are about to go out. So uh, we're kind of staging things in anticipation of rolling them out. Um, I have these uh, giant marigolds that aren't actually part of this piece, but uh, the marigolds are part of a Dia de los Muertos themed uh, altar. We're making an entire house into a Day of the Dead altar. Um, I just kind of staged them over here because they look pretty with the Muses uh, shoe. Uh, this one is uh, going to be Muses. delivered in a couple hours. Uh, we're going to take that over to the client. This is going to sit on her porch facing the street. It was going to be on her porch for her view and her guests, but she decided she wants it out and towards the street so everybody can so see it passing everyone by. everyone can enjoy yes. it. So got those two here. We've got some of the pieces for Xanadu here. You remember the building that Xanadu was in uh, in uh, Los Angeles? It was filmed on the uh, the outside of the Pan Pacific Auditorium, and this is what the building looked like on the outside. So this is sort of a forced perspective technique where these pieces are going to be backlit with LEDs on the streets behind these panels, which are diffusers, and then the way that these are place sort of gives it the, the illusion of perspective and makes it look like a huge building when it's only, you know, maybe 12 inches deep and about four inches, four feet wide. So for everyone out there, we're taking a tour of the studio. If you have any questions, we have a few minutes that we can stay live. So do you want to know uh, any of the behind the scenes? Uh, you, you type it in there and we'll do our best to answer. But uh, thank you, Debbie, for watching and everyone for watching. Um, we have a whole table here. Yeah, this is where we've been painting things. Um, this uh, medallion here is uh, a companion piece to the shoe over there. 
So this is going to hang over the entrance to the patio, and that's going to face out into the street. And this guy here, this is the Xanadu sign, which is all is done. We have to figure out how to rig it to that steel uh, truss that's outside. So how many hours a day are you working on this stuff? <laughs> ah, well, this week I've been, I think I've been in the studio between 18 to 20 hours per day. Wow. No life. No life, but you're giving all no, no, of no, us no life, new life. No oh, this no is lie. Y'all, I thought he said no life, uh, and I was going to say, well, he's the one giving us the life. We're getting so excited. Oh, we're we're breathing Mardi Gras and carnival season and uh, and just really having a good time with it. So let me show you the CMC over here. Yeah. So the CMC router is a 5 by 10 foot computer controlled cutting table. And that's sort of the, that's the key to all these fancy things because it allows us to grind on the computer in CAD and then output pieces that are accurately cut based on the cutting file. Um, so we throw a sheet of material on here. Right now it's got a sheet of uh, insulation foam, which is nice because uh, it makes very lightweight uh, decorations. That can be coated and then uh, sanded down into contours and then painted. Um, it also does uh, plastics or uh, plywoods. So, so you put it all in a computer and then it just it cuts it for you? Pretty much. So use a CAD program or Adobe Illustrator for a lot of the and and y'all, um, I was lucky enough to meet this amazing man on Facebook, and I like to think that I got in early before you the did. rush. You were one of the first. Ones. I was one of the first customers, and were, he made. I think you were number two. <laughs> he made a giant seven foot tall Franzia box for me, uh, and it is gorgeous, and it is in my front yard, and and it certainly did make a a, a, a name for us in our new neighborhood. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and so is there anything you want to tell people out there about about Mardi Gras and why reaching out to artists to help even if it's the smallest decoration um, I think that hiring professional artists is it, it's it's good for the artists obviously because they get work and they get exposure but also it builds community and so what I've noticed is that a lot of people who wouldn't normally interact with the artists in this town, and this town has a lot of artists, this town is like, that's why, that's why I came here, is because I wanted to be a part of this artistic community. And so it's ultimately building community, and that's what this is about. I mean, this isn't, you know, a uh, cruise or, some, you know, somewhat, but it's, it's not companies and crews doing this. This is homeowners and, you know, individual artists doing this stuff. And so we're making all these connections. I have people talking to me about Halloween already, you know? And this is like unheard of any other place, any other time of the year even. And so it's 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 really a unique experience to, to be going through this and it's perfect for this town because this is, like nobody's gonna keep this, keep this town down. It's no. impossible. Like what we always find a way to like come back and you know, it's, it's incredible. Well, you know, I laughed that over the last few weeks, anytime you go to Michael's or even Lowe's or Home Depot, things are missing, like, that we would expect oh, yeah. to be there. I bought the whole stack of this phone. It was, you know, 8.55 at night right before they closed, and I ran in and grabbed a huge stack and just threw it in, in the back of the truck and drove here. And, uh, yeah. You know, we're we're buying it up. We're helping the economy by buying up all this stuff, really? and then hiring, you know, artists who could really. Uh, there's that's a little. Nagelpuss. That's a little kitty that Nagelpuss is here hangs out in the hey, studio. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, studio Nagel. kitty. <laughs> Y'all live on Facebook. Uh, we're with Philip Diaz <laughs> in his shop as he's making all kinds of cool things. For Mardi Gras house floats oh, all over the city. And also, there's the, uh, the little uh, tableau we did on Fox 8 Studios on Norman C. Francis Boulevard. Go by there at night. It's, uh, it's a space at UFO team, and it is uh, it's up there. It's, it's um, one of the most amazing projects I've worked on. Oh. It's got programmable LEDs on the UFO. It has giant planets up on the side of the building. It has the... Uh, the judgy kind of uh, 
nasty looking aliens in the executive suite windows <laughs> looking down at the revelers <laughs> below. So it's, it's the whole thing is just so it's so amazing. You have to go buy that. Awesome. Well, y'all, this is Jeff Amy Sins. I am live here on Facebook. I'll give you one more quick little peek at some of this work that you need to hit up the float maps, go scope it out, you know, cheer for our artists for helping to make this happen. And for the artists who there are people out there who don't really know what we're doing, but we want to be artistic. And these guys are kind of coaching us through the process. Oh, yeah. If you have any questions, go to the Crew of House Floats uh, resource page and uh, ask your questions and someone will pipe up with an answer. Awesome. Well, y'all, we are going to close it out here. There will be more stuff happening. I'm Chef Amy Sins. This is my friend Philip back there. If you need some uh, Mardi Gras decorations, you probably should have ordered them about two months ago. I have some time next week. Uh, but he's got some openings next week. So, you know, <laughs> hit me up and I can put you in touch with him. But thanks, y'all, for watching. Have a great day. And uh, keep an eye on the page because there's going to be lots of fun Mardi Gras and Carnival stuff popping up over the next few weeks. Bye.